Hi everybody, welcome back to Enjoying Retirement. Today we're going to take an eight hour fishing trip out of Nassau, the Bahamas. We started out at eight o'clock in the morning over at the docks right in front of the Margaritaville restaurant uh, on Paradise Island. It's a beautiful day, it's going to be in the low 80s, chance of rain later on, as there usually is. Um, we have signed up with this charter specifically under their inshore reef and wreck fishing, targeting snapper, grouper, and that's exactly what we wanted. We were a little surprised when we got there, they asked what we wanted to do. I told them again, and they suggested that we start off with some trolling for tuna. Assuming that they knew what they were talking about and the tuna must be running, um, we said, okay, but let's just not do it for too long because we wanted to do a lot of action. We got out there. Um, we left the harbor about 8.10, uh, 8.45. We had our first tuna uh, on the line that we're going to get. My wife had one earlier, but it slipped off right away. So here's one that is going to come in the full way. There he is. Color on the right. It's going to be a beautiful black fin tuna. Oh yeah. Uh, not huge, but uh, but a nice size. Excellent. Hey. Six minutes later, at 8:54, my wife is hooked up on one. Keep it up like I'm going to say. Keep it up. 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 We almost have them. Now there's something I want you to look at here. I'm going to put it in slow-mo for a bit because this turns out to be kind of important to us. He's going to pull that fish up. Beautiful little blackfin tuna. Take a look at that ice chest. There is one bag of ice in that ice chest for an eight-hour fishing trip. Um, we were a little disappointed in how the fish were treated uh, that we caught throughout the course of the day. And I think we'll take a little bit closer look next time before we start and ask some harder questions. Well, these guys like to troll and we spent the next two and a half hours trolling. We eventually reached a point where I said, hey, enough's enough, let's go do some uh, reef fishing. They said, okay. Uh, we started to get hooked up for it. And then the captain saw more tuna jumping, so off we go chasing more tuna. But eventually we did stop and get to do some reef and wreck fishing. The water is beautiful, uh, and we had, uh, we had some nice success at this first spot. Here my wife is reeling in her um, yellow fin, yellow tail snapper. Unfortunately, that turned out to be the only one we caught that Good day. Job. Eight hours of fishing in the Bahamas, one snapper. Now, I, I was having a little bit different uh, luck. Uh, I had been playing with a school of about five or six fairly large fish. Wasn't sure what they were. Uh, they kept taking the bait, and uh, I kept trying to set the hook, but I was doing it sideways and just ripping it out of their mouth. Finally, um, they recommended I do it vertical, uh, and after a couple attempts, not here, but the next one, I'm going to catch this guy. And it was uh, worth the wait. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that's a big one. This guy's going to end up being a good-sized uh, Bermuda chub. We haven't eaten it yet. Uh, I, I, I hear they can be okay as long as they're cleaned properly and cooked properly. 
Uh, so we are looking forward to that, but uh, he sure was a lot of fun to catch. And I was hoping to spend more time uh, catching the yellowtail snapper, these guys, uh, hopefully some good-sized grouper or whatever else was on the reefs and wrecks. But that's a good fish. Wow. Right? You see a mutton snapper? That was about uh, the end of what we caught there. I kept trying for a few more of those, but they wised up after their uh, buddy disappeared. So I, I had asked that I go, they take me to a reef so that I, I could do some spear fishing. I did, unfortunately, when I turned the camera on, I was actually oh, yeah. turning it off. I so I have now. no footage of that, but alas, um, I also have no fish from it. But it, it was fun finally getting a chance to do it. Now the good news was that, once well, I came out of the water, soaking wet. So when we moved to our next uh, reef spot and the storm blew in, I had no problem going out there in my swim trunks and fishing. Uh, right here, uh, my wife finally started filming from inside the cabin. Uh, she wasn't real keen on going out, but by now uh, the hard rain had stopped, but uh, we're having fun. Got quite a few uh, strawberry grouper, just these little guys. I was kind of expecting a five or six pound grouper, or something bigger maybe, but uh, these were all the groupers we found wow, that day. Wow, must be a big one. Also ended up catching quite a few um, grunts, which I've, I've learned from Florida are actually pretty good eating. That was a case right there where I caught something good, but it immediately went in a hole wrapped around um, a coral head, and, and I couldn't get it. So a few more of the tiny little groupers, strawberry groupers, they called them. A few more decent grunts. And now I've, I've reached a point where I got a pretty good fish on. I didn't know what it was, uh, but I knew it was a good fighter and it was going to be a good fish. Turns out this thing is called a queen trigger fish. One of the most beautiful fish uh, I've seen, much less caught. Pretty good size, is about uh, 14 inches from nose to fork of the tail and it was purple and gold uh, just beautiful Yay. but unfortunately after after all that trolling it was time to head in more cruise ships showed up while we were out and that makes for a busy day in nassau well here we are with our overall catch not bad wish it had been more nice thing about having margaritaville right there is you can take your fresh catch right in and for 15 bucks they will cook it up for dinner a little bit later on, I barbecued that queen trigger fish, and it's probably the best tasting fish I've ever had. Well, that's it for me. As always, I am enjoying retirement.